hello everyone welcome back to my channel today I want to speak on how it is our responsibility to keep our hearts right I want to start with 1st Peter chapter 4 verses 12 through 19 beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you but rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator." Listen carefully, y'all, please. Satan is using people to carry out his plan to destroy everyone's God-given destiny, especially Christians. But we as believers of the word of our Father in heaven understand that the weapons formed against us will not prosper. If we keep our hearts right and clear of every offense and plead the blood of Jesus over every area of our lives, God will disgrace the spirits who puppet those being used by the enemy for our downfall. Every tongue that rises against us in judgment, we shall condemn. But could it be that many of us are more concerned with Jesus wiping away our tears more than wiping away our sins? I mean, we will accept his love, but not his severity. From the front of the Bible to its finish, God shows himself as a God of conditions. We want everything changed around us but ourselves. Listen, the saved will see some tough moments in time, and we will all have reasons to cry in our lifetime. But the Lord suffered and died to save us, not to take us from life's experiences. He promised to be with us always in all of our earthly experiences. God's promises rest on our obedience to his word. Our spiritual needs far outweighs our physical needs in this life. Having obeyed the gospel and becoming one of his, the focus becomes the changes in us that is to his good. It's the condition of the heart and soul that needs the spiritual rescue first and foremost. It's better to die crying and saved than to die happy and satisfied yet lost. But we must continue in prayer and ask God to help us in keeping our heart clear of anything that's not of him. Bitterness, anger, jealousy, rejection, covetousness, gossip, manipulation, intimidation, lust, greed, hate, unforgiveness. Anything that is contrary to the word of God, we should pray and ask God to help us in keeping our heart right from anything that is not like him. By doing this, the enemy has no door into our lives. And I pray that Father in heaven will raise up the saints with boldness to speak against and pray against the spirit of witchcraft. I strongly encourage each of you to ask God daily to send his holy fire at the root of every altar coming against the destiny of your children, your husband, your wife, you, your family, your church, etc. Just like in the Old Testament, 1 Kings 18.24, and you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God that answers by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. 2 Kings when the Bible speaks about God's holy fire coming down on behalf of Elijah and killed those 50 men and the captain. Ask Father to send his holy fire at the root of every altar coming against you and your loved ones. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The weapons of this warfare are not carnal but mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. Y'all, we war not against flesh and blood. We should never think for one second that our battle is against the person. Our battle is always and always will be against powers, principalities, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Y'all, Jesus is on his way back, and we all need to really be doing what the Bible instructs. Pray without ceasing, and love as God so commands. Please be ready. None of us know when we'll take our last breath. Repent of all sins. Confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior over your life, and invite the Holy Ghost into your heart. Find a church home and pray that God will send you somewhere that is Bible-based and draw nigh unto Father in heaven. He is faithful to draw close to you as you draw close to him. 
Love y'all and y'all take care. And remember, it is our responsibility, y'all. It's our own personal responsibility in keeping our own hearts right. Remember, the Bible says that only the pure at heart shall see the Lord. Only the pure at heart shall see the Lord. Y'all take care and y'all please consider in everything that you do, y'all. Please consider your soul in everything, in everything, consider your soul. God bless.